what's happening? Welcome back to EcoBoost, my name is Kate Arnell and if you haven't subscribed already, I'd like you to think about it, that would be nice. As many of you already know, I like to try and shop secondhand. I also like to support sustainable and ethical brands as well. So my wardrobe and general home is a mishmash of the two. And in fact, this jumper is actually a secondhand purchase that I got a few days ago. I'm really loving it. I've been looking for one like this for ages and I walked into a local secondhand shop and lo, there it was. It was a slow motion moment of really chuffed with that. But I do believe shopping secondhand is a great way of diverting items from landfill, taking them out of the waste stream and breathing new life into them. So I was thrilled when the homeless charity Crisis got in touch, asking if I would come along to one of their shops, do a little bit of filming, have a little try on session and learn about all the amazing opportunities that the shop provides. So Crisis has two shops in London. The first one opened in Hackney in October 2015 and because it was such a success, they then went on to open a second one in January earlier this year, so almost a year ago, and that one is in Finsbury Park, and that's the one that I went along to. And Crisis is a charity that I personally support anyway, and seeing as it's way more fun to have a little try-on session with a friend, I brought along my friend Emily Bevan, uh, who some of you might recognise, she is an actress, but she also loves a bit of secondhand shopping, and she's just got a really cool style. So I brought her along for a little bit of fun. Crisis shop in Finsbury Park is really quite spacious and much bigger than I was expecting. It even has a cafe at the front of the shop, which I was really pleased with because it's great to start a day with a muffin and a cup of tea. Emily and I had a little browse around the different sections. There's things like homewares, books, women's wear, men's wear, uh, furniture. So there was a lot to look at. Crisis gets amazing donations from the local community every single day, so there's always something different, new, exciting to go in and check out, which I really like about shopping secondhand. The shop is also a great way of creating and raising awareness about homelessness. And in fact, the Finsbury Park shop recently won the Time Out Love London Award for the Finsbury Park area. So clearly the locals are loving their work and want to support the shop and show that it means a lot to the local community. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Oh, they're lovely. Oh my gosh, she was so in love with this coat. Kind of a cape coat, slightly dramatic, very elegant, and it just really suited her. Haha, <laughs> little dance. And talking of coats, I found a couple of really cool ones actually. This navy one with a little hood was really nice. It fitted beautifully, and I really like navy. And once we'd done our browsing, we pulled together some of our favourite pieces and had a little try-on session. Emily found these incredible black and white stripy stretchy trousers, which I don't think many people could get away with, but somehow she managed to rock them. And she also found this beautiful brown silk shirt. She also found these super cute little Mary Jane T-bar heels, which she wore with a really classic and quite chic, if you ask me, shift dress. I tried on this really cute denim look, very fitted shirt, um, which I think looked pretty cool. I also loved this black structured coat. How nice is that? And then underneath, I'd chosen a gray, t-shirt with Mickey Mouse on the front. I'm kind of a sucker for anything with Mickey Mouse on the front and I really like the slogan, why grow up? Maybe I need to grow up just a little bit. Emily also found some amazing pieces for the home. This picture totally caught her eye and she was really taken with it. I've just found this print and it's just really beautiful and unusual and sort of strangely calming to look at. And then she also found some beautiful secondhand books like The Secret Garden. And this is a really good sort of coffee table book that will make me look artistic. That guy is doing a very good job of pretending to look interested. So as well as volunteers, some service users also work in the shop and it's a great way of them building their confidence and learning skills that will help them rebuild their lives. She also bought that super cute little wooden coffee table. 
But she resisted the cowboy Santa hat, which is a shame, it's a shame. She could have had a very howdy holiday. I also love that the shop used so many upcycled materials for their interiors. So things like upcycled scaffold board and the metal pipes that are used to hang the clothes on, they're all upcycled and I just think it's so creative. And how cool is that coffee sack dress? Isn't that amazing? Um, that's actually not for sale, I just think it's really creative and definitely a really eye-catching window feature to bring people in. So a huge thank you to Crisis for inviting us along, we had a great time. And a huge thanks to Emily as well. It was so nice going with someone who also really appreciates shopping secondhand and finding some really cool, interesting pieces. And she fully embraced it. Look, uh, look at my bit carried away. Um, you might have noticed this is, this is uh, one of my favorite things to do. So it was really nice. And again, like I said before, Crisis is a charity that I'm very passionate about and like to try and contribute towards whenever I can. If you fancy popping by one of the Crisis shops, I'll put the addresses in the info box below and I'll put a link to their website so you can learn all about the amazing work that they do as a charity. And if you want to make a contribution and buy somebody a place at Crisis at Christmas, then I'll put a link to that as well. It's something I've done for the last couple of years and it's so much more than just a hot Christmas meal and a bit of company. They also get a full health check, a spruce up, a hot shower and advice and support about getting off the streets and back into employment. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you feel a little bit inspired to try shopping secondhand and to try supporting your local charity shops. Um, keep your eyes peeled because Crisis are looking for new locations. They're expanding and hopefully some more shops will be popping up in 2017. If you've enjoyed this video then please hit the thumbs up and if you haven't already then I'd love you to subscribe, that would be great and I will see you in the next one. Bye! So as many of you lovely not know I get a lot of noisy cars outside my window. Why yada?